in a world. Four friends, one mission. Mikey, what are you doing? I'm doing the thing for the podcast. It's not that hard, bud. Dude, just say the name. Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. Well, it's Wednesday. Uh, I'm about to cut a cigar. Uh, I got a drink on the table in front of me. We're missing. He'll be back. Can't say we're missing him, Bob. <laughs> I'd say, well, for what we're about to do, we're going to need jazz. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. I mean, because when it comes to aficionado things. We're doing aficionado things. Jazz fits into this one like a bespoke suit. Johnny boy, what are we about to do? Go, cool, we're about to masturbate. You damn right. It's time for the Freedom Friends Master Debate. Solving the world's problems. One mediocre fucking topic at a time. Um, PP touches. PP touches. That's, pick me, pick that's, me. That's the main fucking factor. Um, but more so, uh, basically how this works, Justin, our producer, gives us a, a, a random topic. We have no idea what the fuck it is. And uh, we debate it. it. Usually turns into a shit show that or, we're not talking about. Or we 100% ignore it and talk, and about, what talk about whatever we want. Yeah, it's it's one of the two. Yeah. Uh, but that's usually how it goes. I'm Mikey. That's Jazz. There's John and Scott. And uh, we are the Freedom Friends. Justin, what you got for us this week? Guys, it wouldn't be the Freedom Friends if we didn't talk about our number one sponsor, Warfighter Tobacco. Obviously, you guys have seen us all smoke them. We're here to talk about a quality product that everybody can enjoy. The great equalizer, as we've called it, the Warfighter Tobacco Stick. And it's not just cigars. They've got humidors, travel humidors, cutters, lighters, everything you need to get started on that journey. So check out warfightertobacco.com and use that code FTFO. Score yourself that sweet, sweet 15%. If you want to know my personal favorite, I'm a 762 field guy. I like that Sumatra, real nice and even keeled cigar. Great for us beginner smokers, right? And I'm told that these taste even better when you're listening to the Freedom Friends podcast. Now, back to the show. This episode is brought to you by Grill Your Ass Off. It's no secret. We're all middle-aged dudes who love barbecue. Grill Your Ass Off is our name, main go-to for our spices. That's what we use, man. Whether you're doing burgers on the grill, steaks, or my personal favorite, a little bit of pork belly burn ends, right? They've got you covered on all of that. They also have salsas. They also have seasonings and spices. They got beer salts. They've got everything, man. Check them out. Grillyourassoff.com slash Freedom Friends Podcast or Use the code Freedom Friends Podcast at checkout. All right, boys. Okay. All right, boys. So I want to know if you could master any skill. Baiting. Would Baiting. You- <laughs> Next. <laughs> Universal baiting. Yeah. All right. Is it? What's the rest of the question? What would it be? Baiting. If master, you could master any, any skill. skill. I, I answered that before you even asked it. Well, you guys tied. I'm just really upset that Warfighter Scuba doesn't have a muff class. So I'm trying to convince Nick. They, Just a so, buff certification. Now, SSI, Make up some acronym like Master Underwater Firefighter. Hmm. So that you can go get certified as a muff diver. It's a good idea. It's not bad. Hold on. Hold on. Are you a master diver with them? He is. You're also a freedom friend. I'm a master underwater, underwater freedom, freedom friend. friend. <laughs> you are a certified muff diver, <laughs> sir. Does that make me a rough diver? Because you're just recreational. I'm, I'm rescue. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, rough diver. That sounds very gay. So yeah, that that sounds kind of gay. We're gonna go right 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 right. Hey, At least hey, I'm a muff diver. Hey, speaking of gay, uh, John got a pedicure with me. I I know. <laughs> He got it in haze gray. <laughs> Look at that. He did. It did. He did. But yeah, you are. So you're master diver certified. With I am. Him, right. And a freedom. So I am a muff diver. You are you a are? master underwater freedom <laughs> friend. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Can't there confirm. Going, can't confirm. Certified <laughs> muff diver. Get your goddamn snorkel out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only time I use a snorkel. In the shower, you know, so you can breathe. <laughs> so a skill that I would like to master snorkel showering. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see here. Hmm. So I have, so here's the problem with that question. Is this like instantaneous or do I have to like go do the whole, like, you know, how you get to Carnegie hall, right? So <laughs> we, right, like, we all have the same problem. Okay. Too many hobbies. No, Okay. It's not because we don't have too many hobbies. We're the, but whatever hobby we decide we want to take, full on, we're fucking all in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And it's across the board. It's with oh all my God, of us. It's not just a single one of us. We it's all like, do that. I'm so yeah. like, somewhat interested in this. It's yeah. time to get but everything like, that I'm gonna, ever yeah. existed. I'm going to make it my life now. So yeah. it's a really hard <laughs> question. Like, what do you want to master? It's like, I just see, do, whatever I decide that I want to do, I go down that fucking rabbit hole. And problem. so do you and you and you know the what I mean? The problem is, how much effort does the rabbit hole require? No, so I... Because like... I, You're talking about in this hypothetical question. In this hypothetical question, if there's a skill that you could have where you wouldn't have to pay. I just have it? Or have the time. Snap of the fingers. You're now a master. Oh, Kung I, Fu. I, I am a, I speak Spanish. I'm a pilot. Kung yeah, Fu. Every language on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Kung Ooh, Fu. Kung Fu is on my list. Yeah. Kung 100%. Fu. 100%. Yeah. 100% Kung Fu. No, I'm going with languages. Because I take the time to learn Kung Fu if I really want to. But, but that's the thing. I'm I a can, pilot. But I could take the time. To- <laughs> I'm a pilot that can fly. I'm certified anything. in anything. You just get to make because I just saved myself. Pilot. I just saved myself. A hundred. It's insane. Five hundred thousand uh, dollars at least. Really, actually, huge fan of the show. A uh, great kid. I've talked about him this before. The one that um, came to the store, all that kind of stuff. That young kid, um, Kevin. We like him. Hi, Kevin. Um, he actually decided that he's transitioning out of his welding position. He wants to go be a pilot, and. Uh, to fly a rotor wing, like yeah. to do. Uh, um, it's not cheap. Well, it's not. And he's, so what he's doing, he's actually. Ultimate zombie apocalypse fucking skill. But though. this is also what I was talking about with the reason I liked this kid is that he's young, but he's got the hustle. So he's, he's working his full-time gig. Yeah. And he's using that to pay for his flight training. Nice. So like he has like a. investment Yeah. And so, cause he wants to transition, but he wants to do like life light shit and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, so like this is like, I'm going to go do that San Marcos tour where I fly you over a fucking empty field. For and be $20. Like, Look here, you're fucking in a helicopter. Like he doesn't want to do that. He wants to actually like go do something with it. Like, um, like Kobe around or something. But that, yeah, <laughs> at least once. Um, but. <laughs> well, only I mean, once. <laughs> oh, no, no. Zing. I'm just saying that he should have had uh, somebody like this. It, yeah. But he, he. But he's got the hustle. So he's still working his gig. Right. And then working his gig. See, he's literally sat at my bar and has been going through like his flight logs That's awesome. to like go like, where, where do I need to improve? What do I need to practice? Like he's a, he's a good kid. He rides too. He actually, nice. he really, really wants to ride with us. Oh, let's go. And uh, that's what I said. I was like, fucking, we typically ride on Sundays. And he's like, well, and I was like, no, nah, if you want to ride with us, yeah. it's fucking Sundays. Yeah. And I was like, and bring your big kid boys. Bring big, he, uh, dude, he actually, he rides a naked. And uh, it's baller. He built it himself. So Mal just texted uh, me. She's flying to Philly in the morning. She's right there. I know. But she her text is gold. And it's perfect timing, too. She goes, please remind me to get my gun out of my bag tonight. Don't want to pull a Justin. Why <laughs> didn't you? Just, you should have just texted Justin. That's I, I do actually now. Now <laughs> he got that permanent. I spent, you you just gave him anxiety because yeah. you're flying with the bag. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> what he's got a bag? Oh fuck! Oh, no. Double check it. Get that gun out of there. The only silver lining. Make sure it's not fucking stolen. Is I've had so many people be like, "Oh, I thought of you on the day before my trip and pulled my gun out of." Uh, Scott did it like before yeah. they went to every PC. day. You are so you are a PSA at this yeah. point. Yeah. Last yeah. every day, every time that I walk through the doors, leaving the parking garage, at San Antonio. There's Airport, a sign. There's a sign, and every single time I'm like carrying shit, and I look at it, and I'm like. Fuck, I should take a picture and send it to Justin. How many, <laughs> and I just walk by. Justin, how many times have I sent you that? At least 10. Well, I, I, and I know I've sent it to you a couple yeah. times too. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm hardcore about it. And that one time I got popped was at Logan in yeah. Boston. And I had a round. And the funny thing at this point is I had been on like six airplanes at this point and had a round in my backpack. And finally Logan caught it. And I was like, they're like, well, we're going to have to call Boston PD. And I was like, okay. Or you could just take it. So it walk. showed up and they were like, <laughs> what do you want to do with it? And I was like, throw it away. I got asked about this. And they were like, what is this? I was like, it's a keychain." <laughs> and they were like, it's a, it's a, it's a bullet. And I was like, yeah, I was like, it's yeah, literally a engraved. It's a piece of brass. I was like, and it's, it's, it's for cigars. Yeah, in all man. fairness it's though, I was punch. 13 years old in the late nineties. and was wearing Jinko jeans with a wallet chain i'd be more interested and i had a cocaine carrier gi right joe ak-47 hanging off of it and they made me throw it away because it looked like a firearm wow gay Damn. so yeah your keychain nowadays doesn't no really surprise me if i yeah. was tsa i'd be more concerned about the other one you have on there you know i remember oh, a little yeah yeah, this little guy? yeah yeah 
Yeah. I remember when I was young and I had a keychain that looked like that. Now I just have this. Yeah. <laughs> With my 800 milligram Motrin, it's all broken. To that, shit. That's like a 650, bro. <laughs> it is now. Yeah. That's literally it. Yeah. Because I got to the point. That's. Yeah. Like, I like this. Where'd you get this? I mean, this one. Amazon. This one comes apart if I only want to carry the key. Where'd you get this? Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. I like it. Look at it. Because those goddamn keys are expensive. Let's see. You got like one, yeah. two, three, four, five. He has six key rings and two <laughs> keys. Yeah, I just okay. keep adding key rings. Look, six look. key rings and two keys. This is so more than this two is, keys. No, that's it. You literally, you have two keys right there. Two keys. Nothing else on there is a key. So all of these. That's not a key. No, these are key all to all the doors in my sh in my store. That's a key fob. Oh, so your valet all, key doesn't count. Yeah, these all run my store. Yep. Uh, those are separate, right? Yeah, they're separate than your car and, keys. And it's even my safe. Yeah. But like everything runs my store. And then this, do you know do you know what that is? Mailbox. Nope. Oh, hard. Looks like a looks like a store. You want to know the hilarious thing? Uh, Guess whose bike that goes to? Kibby's. Nope. Caitlin's? Oh. And the only reason I have this is that for some reason, Caitlin got somewhere without her fob to her Harley. Uh, I can put that in and put the pin code in and still start the bike. Yeah. You don't I, even have to put I that have, in. She just needs to put the, the I have code. Yeah. all my work keys on a separate ring that I can hook to whichever key I'm taking that day. And do you yeah. know why that Harley key is on my keychain? She put it there. It yeah. wouldn't even be on my keys. She's like, hold this. This You're is like, my okay. cigar lock. <laughs> at, yeah. at four nine. And then I'm gonna need a copy of that. No I'm kidding. <laughs> it is also your locker. <laughs> I I, I, just, I tried I'm to cut my keys. You. I tried to cut my keys all the way down because I I had a guy that I really really respect a lot. His opinion is is very valuable to me. And he told me one time, keys are nothing more than a check mark for how much stress you have in your life. Uh -huh. So the less so keys you have deep. on you, yeah, the less, less keys yeah. you have on you, the less stress you see, have. See, I have two keys. Fuck you, so I have. <laughs> let's see. Hold on. I have my house key, which I never use because I have a keypad. I don't even carry a house key my, because I have a keypad. I just, oh I, I do because I'm horrible at changing batteries. <laughs> nope. But even then, I have the pin code that opens my garage door so I can just go That's through true. there. That's like, true. It's like I have my mailbox key. Until your fucking power's out. My mailbox key. In which case, I, I don't want to be home anyway. I have the lock Facts. for my hitch, and then I have the lock for my bed cover. Workhouse, two mailbox keys, hitches, and a, and a handcuff key. You gotta have just in case. case. See all of those. Yeah, this is, uh, I, and, and but then I have a separate key I have a separate key ring in my truck that has all the other all my work keys, yeah. all the back other door bullshit, to the all store, the keys and shit. The cages on the front of my store. Yep. The cages I have to roll up. Uh, that looks, actually, that that's looks a, important. That's another back door key. That's the master. Ooh. That's why wow. it says "Do not the duplicate." Master back door key. And then Attaboy. this one, this one opens up my studio. And that's now when you go in my office, I have a whole you shelf have a drawer of keys. Oh. That too, a whole <laughs> shelf full of keys. Yeah. No, so like my mailbox key, it's it's in the fucking dash of my car. Yeah. Because I'm like. Yeah, I leave my I leave mine in my. It's in the door. Yeah, it's in the dash of my car because yeah. I'm like, because we we live in one of those. Well, your houses, all of our houses oh, are in the all, same fucking thing. Yeah, we we all, have one of those. We all live in master plan communities, so it's one of those. We have those giant bays that have all your lock boxes and shit yeah. like that. So I'm like. But it's like three blocks away. And I'm like, my, my I'm problem fucking is, walking up there. Yeah, mine's I, like, like fucking, I, I never know which which vehicle I'm going to be in. So that's why I, I well, see. It. I only own the one car. I have it on the mobile. I only own one car and I'm not going to put it in a bike. So. And then my bike keys are on a fucking <laughs> carabiner. I just clip them onto my belt. My bike keys in my bike. It's been <laughs> there for like three years. My fob. I have. I, the you last know, time you drove it. I, yeah. When's the last time you started it? Uh, two weeks ago. Really? I had to move it in the shop. Oh, Let me fuck. I can I tell you the last time. I can tell you the last driveway. time it was taken out. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you yeah. Took can it. I take yeah. it out? Yeah. yeah. I just was, was that the last time you rode? Just, yep. No, it's yeah. a fun bike. Yeah. It's just one of those like <laughs> I just, I just want to ride like, as many yeah, different like, motorcycles. Yeah. Like, no, you should try it. Yeah. I'd love to ride it. I think it's a fun bike to ride. 
the last time I'll that it was enough. started when people were here. Yeah, you should let Mikey, who hasn't touched a bike in 20 years. I let Justin get He off. just went out of the course. Well, exactly. Just, it was like his day after I the course. That meant wrote, absolutely nothing. But I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, all, wrote, you, all you've ridden is the course bikes, ride like a, a real bike. Yeah, yeah, ride a real bike. I've rode. Oh, Justin's fucking been in my sidecar. So <laughs> the, last time, the last time you started it when people were here. We we noted it on the dry erase board in my office. Oh really? Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. We did. There's yeah. th- there is uh I think it's uh SJBS and then a date. It is Scott Jansen's bike start. Yeah. Well, <laughs> by the way, I'm looking for a 103. Yeah. With the six speed attached. What do you get? Do you have like a I have the platform 131 going to, in. Cha- to trade? Nope. Oh. I was like, I'll give you my 103 if you get me a 131. No. So yeah. So I talked to I talked to Kim. <laughs> well, that makes sense. You buy the 131, you pay him the difference, and then sell him the fucking. That's model. a massive difference. It, well, that crate but, motor versus that 103 what do you is. Mean? Like, that crate motor is like six grand. Yeah, I can get a 103 out of a fucking wrecked bike for like three raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a 103 and four grand. We'll talk. <laughs> see see no so making the, deals there's a path no here. we can <laughs> master it's, negotiator it's better, over here it's better than <laughs> taking so, your 103 and putting it in the corner of the shop okay so <laughs> kivy and i had a conversation on facetime yeah where we were both drinking so this oh, that, that's that, how we oh, know goes, this is a good idea yeah. this is the best <laughs> this, this is the best idea Shit. yeah so we have access to pick up a sports frame for 125 bucks and you want to put a 103 in it nope Okay. <laughs> Wait, I have fucking lift off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a street glide with an 88, a stage two uh, 88 in it. Okay. Oh. With a five speed. So you want to put the 88 in the, the I want to put the 88 in the five speed in the sportster. It's an eight hundred dollar kit out of Germany to be able to do a two forty on the back of the sportster. Ooh. Okay. That and would then look and good. then put the one oh three yeah. into the street glide. Because that street glide it we essentially have to weld the front engine mount shut and then just drill a new hole and the engine mounts all just other than that, there's no difference. Yeah. So we can mount the one Oh three, but then we want to stuff the 88 and the five speed into a sportster and put a two forty on the rear. So yeah, just keep your eye out. Cause I need, I need a one Oh three with the six speed still attached. Okay. Or when you buy your crate engine. <laughs> if, 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 no, it's going to, Come crated in a new bike. Yeah, it's going to come crated with an M8. I don't, <laughs> and that's the thing now is like you were talking about trying to do that engine upgrade and shit. And it's like. I was going to until the new M8s and all the fucking yeah, shit came out. And like, like the new ST. Yeah, no, I'm all It's set. fucking bananas. It, but it, it's it's so different. And that's like, and that's the big thing. Like how my, my bike, how it's set They're up smaller. right now. No, they are. But how my I, bike is set up right now, like there isn't anything else I need to do to it. Because like I, I can ride that thing for ten thousand miles and, yeah. and not have a single. I word. rode the dog shit out of the new twenty twenty four, the yeah. new M eight, and all that kind of shit. I rode. It's smaller. It's yeah, yeah. it's. I don't like the new fairing though, and I rode a road glide. Yeah. So I went from my road glide to that road glide. The new road glide's fucking loud. Yeah. It doesn't like deflect. wind noise or yeah, or, the wind yeah. noise is insane. Hmm. Uh, it's it's fucking loud, but it's smaller and it's way but more nimble. The only other upgrade that I would do to mine is I I wouldn't fuck around and play the game with all the engine work to. Uh, to upgrade my 103 i would just pull it and drop a fucking 131 and throw some fun stuff in that 131 in it there's no replacement for displacement nope that's all you like you have a your bike is it's tuned it's strong it's good for what it what i wanted it to be but the thing if like I but might be a performance bagger but it he and be i 103 <laughs> but like he and i took off from a light and i ride a 114 i ride a stage two 114 but uh, but it's an m8 and it's, it's an M8. Not a twin cam. And there's a big difference. And yeah. It, it, yeah, it's a totally and it, it's a different animal. We took off. We had a good time. It goes in a torque and, at that. Well, and it's right, also yeah, not like, me going like your bike's slow. It's just it, I have a new and much bigger engine yeah. in my bike. And your, so what years yours? 23? Mine's a 23. Your bike is 12 years newer than Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and that's why when after we did that pull and shit, I wasn't like, Yeah, hey, you gotta tune that shit or whatever. It's like Look, I drive a much newer, much bigger it. displacement to the bike. I, and like, I, I had a passenger, so it, you know oh. that extra 115 pounds. Uh, no, 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 made tell you a big difference. I'll put her on the back of mine, <laughs> and we'll still do a pull, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but it's different now. You got cams, exhaust intake, it, it, all that, right? And it's it's fully tuned. Like it's yeah. it's a full 
It's a full on stage too. Like it's, if you guys it's go a on piece. Sunday, I'll count me. You want to go? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't. Fuck seen yeah. Uh, I haven't rode a butte forever. Yeah. You know, we could take the long route back out to fucking Screaming Goat. I think for his well, that's the, his bike. That's about no, the right distance. Oh, uh, Fredericksburg would be perfect. Yeah, I'm good. He, he gets, get there, he gets he fuel up. He gets 100 miles a tank. Yeah, 120. 100 yeah, miles a tank. Exactly. <laughs> if you're going to keep up with us, you get 100 miles. I'm not breaking a siphon this time. Well, uh, when I was getting 120, we were doing about 120. So, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> but the funny thing is about all those bikes. <laughs> the funny thing is about all those bikes is that just 120 cruising. Like both of ours will just calm down. It'll just sit there and just yeah. and just pull the speed. No, we were we were working them. But yeah, <laughs> that's so but that's about perfect. Yeah. Fredericksburg, you'd get out there. You'd need to, uh, but in get all get out fairness, there. He, he well, I mean, I'd top off too. But I would get out too. There and fuel up, and it, it, do yeah. whatever. Comes you know, the beautiful thing about having power in your bike is that you have all this power in your bike. The horrible part is that you ride and you can literally watch the needle move. And yep. You're like, I've never, oh, ever man. one time in my life ridden my bike for fuel economy. No. So the I don't know if I've ever even mathed it to see if I was getting something decent. I only noticed when yeah. I got to that performance level of just like, God damn. See, my, like, my gas gauge is fucked up, right? So it's full and then it goes to half pretty quick. And then from half to empty, it just kind of like hangs out for a little while. And I don't really know I need to fill up until my reserve comes on. So (laughs) because I have a newer bike, I have that interface that tells me we're remaining on the fucking. Mine does that too. Remaining 50 and under. And that's mine has a a remainder of how much mileage I have. The problem is then it'll do something like I'll be on 1604 and found some tuned Supra that wants to play. Uh, And I'm like, fuck, yeah. So then I'm doing a buck 10 in third gear. Right. And you're just watching that number go. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. It, like, so I get I get 200 miles a tank. That's Doesn't, about what I'm at. Does, well, I, I'm I, at don't, like I don't get any less than 200 a tank. And it doesn't matter how yeah. I ride. I ride like a fucking asshole. I get 200 miles a tank. 240 I'm, if I'm riding it normal. I'm willing to bet I could probably get like 260, 275 if I rode it like normal people ride their bikes. I, <laughs> I will never know this. I, if, I wouldn't either. If I rode nope. it. If I rode it like everybody else that has a giant bagger like I have, yeah. I you're right. I'd yeah. probably get 260, yep. 270 out of it. But I did not go buy a bike like that to figure out what 10% throttle feels like. Right. As evidenced by our last ride yeah. where we decided like, uh, let's go. <laughs> it, uh, see you on the other end. Yep. Fucking sitting there slamming each other's helmets going like, there's a fucking cup. And mm. it was, it was a, he was watching the construction area, so we didn't really so. need to slow down, but still. But uh yeah, yeah. Sunday. That'd be fun. Let's go. I, out. I haven't ridden mine in a while, so let's fucking go. Yeah. Yeah. We do Fredericksburg ride. If I if I do a Fredericksburg ride, I'm good for another three years. So. Plus we get <laughs> <laughs> we can go out there and get schnitzel. Mm, do love me some schnitzel. There's a fucking the German restaurant out there that's next door to Allstadt. Oh, that schnitzel is fucking crazy. I usually go to uh Auslanders. Oh yeah. They yeah, really that's, that's usually my go-to yeah. for schnitzel as well up there. Right on the main drag. That's the one. And then the... the, the I leave the bike back by the... The, um, the beer cheese at the brewery will fucking change your life. That's oh, all stuff. Yeah, yep. yeah. That's that, all stuff. That yep. fucking beer cheese there is fucking... I want to live in that shit. But when I ride up there, I park in the... There's the... Uh, like... It's just a parking lot. It's like a community parking lot that's down there by the uh, Naval Museum. Yeah, 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 on the back end. Yep. Yeah, 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 just leave the bikes back there. There's trees. You park underneath the trees. It keeps your saddle from fucking getting baked in the sun. Yeah. And then, and then you just, it's a block yeah. and you walk up and you're on the main drag. Yeah. So. Too easy. But That's uh, usually where I park. Let's go here. Sunday. Okay. I like it. Boom. So you're, or would you say you're a master planner? <laughs> no. Would you just plan that? I don't know. If I could master one skill, what would it be? I, I'm still going with Kung Fu. Kung Fu is a good one. What the fuck is Kung yeah, why Fu going to get you in your life? Fu it's so, Kung fucking Fu, man. No, it's not just that. It's there's a there's like OG traditional like, yes, like Bruce like, like actual, Bruce Lee Kung Fu. No, you, that's Wing Chun. You, not Jeet yeah. Kune Do. You just want to strangle bait. That's all no, I know about it, Kung it, it, the That's what of, you want to master? No, that's all I know figure about out the exact no, timing before I'm, you pass that's out. That's all I know about Kung Fu. All the Kung Fu guys I know died strangle baiting. Imperial, so, like, imperial Chinese kung fu. Yeah, because is it more because of the actual? Yes, it's the <laughs> it's the discipline, it's the discipline and mindset that comes yeah. with 
You're talking like actual I, I kung fu. Matters. You're talking like Chinese monk kung fu. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I understand. Not. That. I'm really good at throwing a punch. Where like your astro body fucking gets the chi to fucking stop a motherfucker's heart from that's, six feet away. That's Buddhist. But yeah. But no, the actual the, uh, master of the force. The Ooh. so kung fu does have several different disciplines. Will be a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> kung fu is about as close as you're getting, to be honest. With you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably pretty accurate. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it, you're 100 on, John. It's it's yeah, the yeah. the old imperial. Chinese kung fu of the whole like the different that, disciplines, the different styles and stuff, but that, because of what it comes with being a master of that, so yeah. a lot of it is like a lot of people don't realize like why when veterans are good at being self employed, when they're good business owners, what that comes with, and that comes from we were in the military and we were taught MDMP, so there's a military decision making process. Oh, I told you learned MDMA. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> But that's two things <laughs> and, and they're making jokes. But as business owners, I've watched them apply it. it it's it, it is literally like, here's the opportunity. What's the MDMP? Do, the military, military decision, decision making, making process. process. Oh, OK. Well, I think it's, you know, it boils down to being risk adverse. It's it's or but not well, as risk adverse, I guess. It comes down to proper risk assessment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and ORM, so, you're up a crick without it. And yeah. and so. The proper risk assessment piece is what's part of the military decision making process. And that's the whole like, it, here's the target, here's the assets available, here's what, you know, the risks that are involved with it. This is what the Scott, outcome could Scott's look like and all metric, that kind of stuff. Acceptable loss. Yep. Well, <laughs> yeah. Kung Fu is Which very, is a very fancy close way of saying gambling. How many people can die before we cancel this? There you go. The MDMP is of seven steps. Receipt of mission, mission analysis, course of action, development, course of action analysis, course of action and comparison, course of action approval, and orders production. It's an analytical process that assists the commander and staff in developing, integrating, and synchronizing their plan. It's a five-paragraph order. It is. It is it's smeak. But that's <laughs> which, like, I just wrote a business plan that I had to give to a bank. And you have to do a SWOT analysis yep. inside of those. It's the same fucking thing. So if you want to know why veterans that get out and start businesses and are suddenly very successful at running their businesses, whether or not you are admitting that you're using this process. You are. You yeah. are. Even as a junior enlisted guy, you were, this was embedded into you. They may not have given you all the acronyms, but they trained right. this skill set into you. Yep. Kung Fu comes with a lot of that. So what, what's SMEAC? It's a five-paragraph order. What, but what does it stand for? Situation, situation, mission, execution, administration, logistics, command, and signal. So ours is similar but different. It's Sergeant Major eats sugar cookies. Yeah, I've heard it. Yeah, we don't have the L. Well, no, it's we. Uh, it's, it's situation, mission, execution, service, and support, command, and signal. Yeah, administration, logistics, service, and support. Literally same, same thing. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smeak. What are your guys' troop leading steps? Do you remember those? No. Go that way. Don't bother me. Yeah. Ours was Take me face out, pull security, drink water, put babe powder on it, change your socks. Famsis. Let's begin the planning, arrange the reconnaissance, make the reconnaissance, issue the order, complete the planning, supervise. Yeah. You uh, just said MDMP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's just the Marines are like, we're different. <laughs> just, well, we're shoot them up sailors and we do things different. Shoot them up sailors. <laughs> say Famsis. <laughs> <laughs> I can shoot them up sailors. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, I'm still like, man, I'm going to say I don't know. Dude, I always too. say it. I've, I've said it for years that I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. You know what I would like so to ask me to be a master of something. That's you snap my order. fingers can be good at anything. Close up practical man. You know what I would like to master? <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> yes. Stock market investments. <sighs> like I said, close up practical magic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of these. Uh, real estate. One of these. <laughs> no, I, I would like to master day trading essentially like i would like to be able to figure out exactly you just want money no it's not about that yes it is no why the fuck else you no because like i think it's very i don't know um there's so many factors that go into <laughs> figuring out exactly just it's like your room keeps making noise <laughs> <laughs> there's so many factors that go into actually figuring out right and it's not just like 
reading metrics, me- metrics or looking at graphs or watching how yeah. the stock market is changing. Like there's so many other factors that go into it. Like you really have to research every individual company in space. Yeah, I just want to figure out what's going on with it. I just want the insider shit. But it's not even about you. Essentially, you want to learn insider trading. But you have if you can master day trading, you essentially have insider trading. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Very true. Like because I don't know. I think that'd be really fun. No, and that it's risk adverse. No, yeah. Uh, Well, I guess if you're mastered it, yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't it be? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong word. It's risky, but you learn how to read it. Yeah, but if you're mastered of it. That's what I mean. Like, I think it'd be really fun. You should be fucking solid. It would just be making money at that point. It's just like, I'm just, what are you doing today? I'm just making more money. But then everything else falls into place. Like, if I had a billion dollars, I I could be really good at everything else. And at the same time, you wouldn't have to be. Exactly. (laughs) It's true. Like, oh, I'm not really good at this, but that guy is. Hey, I'll give you a million (laughs) dollars. That's what I need to be. I just need to be that guy. The guy that's really good at something to get yeah. a million dollars? Yeah. Okay. Just, you know, that's that's what I'm going to master. So what do you want to master? Just whatever, whatever, being that whatever guy. I'm good at. Yeah, I just want to master being that guy. I want to be, you know, remember, it's it's the guff. It's the generally useful fucker. I'd like to master being a generally useful guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, I hear you. Just but fucking. But that, I feel like that only works at a certain level, though. Sometimes. Like, but if you're a generally useful guy, I mean, you got because you got problem solvers at every level. But if you're a generally useful, right? But they're guy, problem solving at real at like specific. Things. But you're you're always probably problem solving for somebody else. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes, sometimes, and I think about this like look at like Six Sigma is a good example of that. You're problem solving, but you could apply those principles to any situation, right? Any situation to tra- to 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 trim out non value added time. Yeah. Right. I mean, and that could go sure, but if it, you don't, if you don't know fuck all about programming, I'll give you an example. You know, hey, you know, like, that doesn't really, that doesn't really help you but, that much. But that, well, that's why you have subject matter experts that you rely on. You know, right? so like, but you have to be an expert at that subject. But you have to be an you, those individuals have to be experts at that subject. But you, as a project manager, just needs to be an expert. Right. At but if you managing don't under, the project, if you don't understand it, and so you don't go need like, to. Hey, just don't do that. And it's like, no, we have to do that. It's like, no, it doesn't. Well, and that's where value add. And it's like, but you don't understand how the fuck this is made. Sure. Sure. Like, and and that's where, that's why even in in any kind of value stream mapping, there's going to be some sort of non-value added time that's still needed. That, I mean, right. that'd be like looking at value added time in the cigar world and be like, well, you know, if we just didn't age the tobacco, we could have cigars on market a lot faster. Yeah. Sure. It's like, sure. Or if well, we made them smaller, they smoke and, them and, faster. And it's like, yeah. hey, that's, that's, that's a, that's, that's a non-negotiable, you know, like that, that, this is a process that needs to be there no matter what. It's yeah. like, okay. So that's, that's a part of value added or non-value added time that you can't cut out because that's production time. Right. Or something like that. Like, I so would, yeah, I mean, you could do it like. You know what I hate about the like, project management model? Like the uh, guy who like came in and like, taught me this like shit? Like Six Sigma? Like, like nobody uses it anymore. Oh, yeah, they do. That's like Scrum models. Nobody uses Scrum model. Like yeah. the project management world is changing like every three minutes. And you I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? No, it's it, not wrong. Though. If you're in a manufacturing environment, they use it very heavily. Constantly. Well, that's really what yeah, Six but that Sigma was and before 5S before and all that Six Sigma shit. even had a fucking name. Like yeah. they were still just going like, how do we make it more efficient? Yeah. That, well, I mean, that's where the... That's how they. That, that's where Henry it, Ford it. made all of his money. Was he was right. just like, okay, so essentially instead of being on demand, let's just put the shit in a line. Yeah, he and, did the five S. And so you know, but people, that, but God, fuck, in the project management world, but like I both think, of our wives are in it, and every time we look look at it, I'm like, well, but now we've changed it, this, that, and the other, and I'm like, what the fuck, yeah. it, like. It, the project management world's inefficiency is the fact that they're constantly fucking changing it. it like there's uh, no standard. I want to change anymore. mine and I want to be a master at international relations. And I want to be able to go sit in Talk between. to her. She's one got right a there. master's degree in it. There's one right be, there. But I want to be able, I want to be that guy where like right now I'd get called and I have to sit down with Iran and Israel. Yeah. It, it, you know what's funny is that so would be so fun. When I was consulting, like between my gig and when I went to self-employment and I was just consulting, that's all I did is like these companies would call me and go, Hey, this is fucked. And I'm like, cool. Let's have a meeting. And I well, get like, a bunch of people on a fucking phone call and I'd go, you're fucked and you're fucked. You could stop doing this, that, and the other. But and you then they would just send me checks. Start or end world wars. Well, like how, you, how fun would that be? How do you think they start and end? 
Exactly. <laughs> I want to be that guy. <laughs> like, have you watched the Fallout show on Amazon? Not oh, yet. Not yet. I okay, so. I heard it's really good. Okay, put a little fucking warning on the screen or whatever right now because I'm about to get you some fucking spoilers. No. A little spoiler. Yeah. I, wanna, I haven't seen it yet. And it, 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 all I'm going to say is as you watch the show, you find out that all of the problems are existing. Guess who made them? God. Biden. No. <laughs> and it was it wasn't it, the guy who's solving the problem. Yeah. Every time. Man. Well, every <laughs> fucking time. That's, that's basic that's story structure. The, though. the, the no, guy that has wrong. the solution, you know, made the fucking problem. I appreciate you saying this on the debate because the whole point of this part of our show is that we invent a problem to solve. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what we do. <laughs> and uh, it, we're a master debater. And yeah. honestly, the only shocker in Fallout is if you've never seen any of the games at all, uh, that's where the story has twists. Like the Hunger Games? Yeah, like the so Fallout game. Fallout has like, <laughs> oh. like nine <laughs> games underneath the title. But if you've never played any of the games, then sure, there's twists in the show. Sure. If you're even pseudo aware of how the Fallout franchise exists, yeah. you know exactly what's going to happen Ooh, in this So it's going to be like a fucking brand new thing for me. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's all that kind of stuff. Like, it's like the little cartoon guy. Pretty, pretty sure I played the original Fallout. And that was about when I quit video games. Yeah, but even then, that one that was like you find out at the end. Back in my day, oh we fuck, played all this shit that we're fighting is I'm I don't I'm fighting as the people that made this problem. But like it's and so it's a uh, oh so it's like um um uh Resident Evil yeah. 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 No, it's it's a hundred percent just Resident Evil. Like okay. we're fighting zombies because for the company that made the fucking zombies. I get it. it yeah. It's yep, yep. Umbrella Corp. That makes sense. Yeah. So what do you think's going on in the world today? It's every government too. Yeah. It's like we have this problem. You made the problem. Yeah. yeah. We're fighting the problem. The problem but is, it's your problem. You're really? fighting the problem you created. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is climate change. <laughs> That's a fake problem. <laughs> By the way. I know a couple of weeks ago I harped on the whole fucking meme thing about like don't post shit unless you know the facts. But all of the fucking thirst trap Greta themes that are coming through. Loving it. Fucking. <laughs> <Thumbs up. laughs> You're doing the Lord's work. Thumbs that is up. so goddamn good. Not familiar. There's a couple. You haven't of, seen these? There's a couple of those memes where I'm like. Mm, <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not bad. It's a bunch of AI generated art. But it's like um, it's it's Greta Thunberg Greta with like Thunberg's tits it, out. It, it's like fucking. <laughs> it's probably about that time, right? She's over eighteen. No, it's no. It's, she's yeah. It's everybody game waited. Game. I'm I'm gonna give it to. I, I will give the they internet waited. that they waited <laughs> until she was legal, and but they were that, like, "Game on." That fucking <laughs> that fucking cunt turned eighteen, and they were like, "Hey, look what you look like as a sex doll." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's just, just a matter of time before she starts in OnlyFans. Gosh, she fucking. Yeah, she fucking. Now here's the here's God the part damn. about it, right? You have to. But do, if she doesn't donate it all of it, you have to do forensic. Green piece yeah, or you have to do forensic stuck. accounting to see if she uses it for her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Buy a jet. Buy a fucking Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to feel ashamed after I beat off to this. Not my <laughs> most proudest jerk. No, I've beat it to way worse than that. Shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If you want to know what the guys are looking at, go join the Freedom Friends Facebook group. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There's a ton of these. That one in the fucking, like, the wingback chair. Yes. The fucking, <laughs> that shit's rowdy. There's the, by the way, scroll up a little bit. A little bit more. Right there. That's the post that I got tagged in like 8,000 times. <laughs> yeah. So that is that is a Stutes city truck. So that is a city service fire truck. And they were they delivered uh, ground ladders to fire departments, to, to, to fires. That is a Woodspoke Stutes. Nice. And uh, that's the project that uh, a good friend of the show, Bradley Freeman, actually, uh, is currently working on. Oh, Sweet. But I got tagged in it like a bajillion times. Yeah, he texted me today, actually. And uh, Bradley's a good fucking dude. He's a good fucking Yeah, he dropped off some booze that we haven't got to yet. Uh, you so, mean the booze that's almost gone? It, no. Oh, to the no, monkey he, shoulder. He dropped off the monkey shoulder in the Devil River uh, coffee, coffee bourbon. Coffee bourbon. Wow. I think he dropped that because we spoke so highly of the agave stuff. Yeah. So no, I think the, he brought yeah. us And it's 80 proof, too. I appreciate it. Very that. sippable. Yeah. 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 But uh, anyways, I might have to I'm still going to go with morning. Kung Fu. Mainly... <laughs> So that I can pull the fucking Keanu Reeves and just one point, just like I wake up, just go like, 
I know Kung Fu. <laughs> like, <sighs> then we Scott, go. What are you doing? Uh, aviation. Yeah. yeah, Mikey. I fucking don't know, man. What do you mean? You can master one you thing. You can do Kung Fu. And the okay. <laughs> drums, bro. Mikey, guitar would be <laughs> Mikey, think about it. We're both Kung Fu masters, and then we get in a top rope situation. Oh, it's game who's got on. the twisted T? <laughs> we don't need a twisted T. We're Kung Fu masters. No, somebody needs twisted. Could you imagine that? That'd be amazing. I don't care if you're a Kung Fu master or not. You have to. You have to play into the sh- social norms. And that's if you're coming so up you're the top just, rope, it, it comes with the You're twisted Jackie tea. Chan with a twisted T. <sighs> then you're Bruce Lee. Just cutting, you're fucked, bro. Just no, I'll take throats. I'll take Brandon Lee. Who do you think would win, Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee? Who do you think? Oh, would win? probably Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, probably Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Jackie, look, I Jackie, love. I think Jackie would make Bruce laugh. I, I love. I love. Jackie's tougher than fuck. I yeah, love Jackie, but Jackie is he an actor. It, Jackie is an actor. He does his own stunts. He does. Jackie's an actor. He does his own stunts, but Jackie is an so actor. So does Tom Cruise. And he's weird as fuck. Bruce later. <laughs> Bruce later on did movies. But Bruce Lee was the best. Like, he's just yeah. that good. The man played ping pong with nunchucks. It, like, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's crazy. That's true. The motherfucker was, he, he was a good. robot. It he was an AI before it was even it, thought of. Like, man. you yeah. watch it even this day, and you're just like, that's fake. Yeah, right? No, 100% no, that did was it. before AI. Yeah. 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 He's um, fucking amazing. Jack yeah. is a movie star, and he's still fucking amazing. Yeah. Bruce would mop the floor with him. He wouldn't even be fucking. Bruce probably has, what, 30 pounds on Jackie, too? Fucking put him in the same weight class. Who cares? Yeah. Like, he'd still still absolutely kick his ass. I'm like, Jackie Chan could hit me. Well, he would hit me. Jackie Chan could hit you 40 times before you realized you were in a fight. (laughs) But But I'm like... (laughs) And Bruce is beyond that. Yeah. Like and he Bruce, did you once. Bruce would you know what planet you're on? Seventy yeah. times before right. you. And Speaking of which, because I have a giant internet platform, I'm going to go ahead and fucking say this: they are remaking the Crow. Fuck you, yeah. To fuck whoever you. the fuck came up with that idea. Uh, fuck I don't them. I, yeah, they're so. This is the it, first I'm hearing about it. It's they filmed. Get, they can go fuck themselves. It's filmed. This isn't even like going into production. It's already done. They have it's the promo done. out. It, yeah, this is coming out. This Who is going to happen. Did uh, Alec Baldwin? If it's not and, Russell uh, Crowe, it's not direct shit. this one. And it, the original people that made the film came out and was like, this is insulting. The Crow was Brandon Lee's legacy. That was the last piece that we had of the Lee family. There was no reason for this movie to be redone. You, there's no it's way you can improve this. a blindless cash grab. And uh, it, it's fucking gross. The, the, I hope it fucking tanks. The new way that they've costumed the Crow, like everything they've done with it is just utterly fucked. Uh, as somebody that went to film school and typically I will respect you're going to do whatever the fuck. Okay. This is gross. It, like what the yeah. fuck yeah, and fuck, you, fuck for you for doing this. It, like this shouldn't fucking happen. I uh, agree with that. And I'm only saying that because I have an open mic on the fucking internet. Nobody can stop me. The only thing that really fucking bothered me about the crow was the amount of fucking crow Halloween costumes that we've dealt with since. You know what? I love it because of that. Because <laughs> it, Brandon Lee you know, didn't even didn't survive the end of the filming. Yeah. Right? It, it, and this was a film that was made in the early 90s. And 30 years later, there's still motherfuckers pulling from this thing. That should have tanked. If that thing was made now. Tank. It, it, the original Crow made now. would It, it wouldn't, wouldn't have made it out of indie no. film. No, it was made the right time. And that shows that that film actually had a cultural impact, which is what art is supposed to do. Art should have a cultural impact. It should elicit a response. It should elicit a buy-in. So that guy with no arms and no legs, you hung on a wall, is supposed to have a cultural impact? If I, if you walked into my house and I had a living man hanging on the wall. <laughs> I would make an impact on it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. What about the dude who sold the banana? You're just jealous of wasn't you? you goddamn right. Yep. See? What a fucking G, dude. Because then you, you, you know have what? guys like Banksy that sold but that piece of art thing. and built a shredder right. into the frame. So that when it's sold for two and a half million dollars, it's it, it's not about the guy. As soon as they ended, he hit the button and it shredded the art in the frame as it came out. And then it sold for 17 million after that. After it's it was not shredded. the guy who sold the banana. It's where he sold it. Yep. Because there's people that sell bananas in Japan and they don't get that much money. Yeah, but they're only selling banana slices. Oh, it's, it's just one banana at a time. Well, they're not really selling the banana. They're selling the... Uh, do your headphones work? 
He's busy. Jesus. Yeah. Fucking softball and you fucking whiffed. What was it a banana joke? I'm over it. <laughs> I'm fucking over it. Just but. like he's not a crayon eater. He's a shoot em up sailor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We're moving on. It's <laughs> on a new generation. I agree. I used your, your marine joke, actually. It's a, I, I still stand behind that oh, joke. Solid fucking I think it's joke, a dude. solid fucking solid joke. joke. And I was like, if you're going to do it, be creative. And I gave you credit. I was like, my buddy Jazz hit me with the best one I've heard. And I told him. And I they were like, good. fuck, that is good. I'm like, yeah, be fucking original, man. <laughs> like, I'm a good sport. I'm a comedian for fuck's sake. Like, I'm going to be a good sport about a good joke. I, do you know why I like that joke? Hmm. Why I'm so proud of it? Is it actually shows that I paid attention to what the fuck Marines are. Like, I, I admire the core, you but do. here's an actual detail of the core. And it's a joke. So if we're going to make a joke, at least be fucking accurate. Yeah. It, like, that's why I like it. That's why they, they don't use alphanumeric job designators. Yeah. It's all numbers. I heard a good joke. I got to try to remember it. Because the alphabet's hard. Bear with me. Man, There's no fucking joke. way they're counting and doing the alphabet at the same time. The difference between the services... The Air Force uh, is told to, or I'm sorry, I'm going to start with the, uh, with the Navy. They're told to secure the building. Have you heard of this one? No. So the Navy, they go into the building, they shut the lights off, lock the door. The Army is told to secure the building. They surround the outside of it and they shoot anybody going into it. Marine Corps is told to secure the building. They go inside, kill everybody inside, post on the inside and shoot anybody trying to get in. The Air Force is told to secure, secure the building, and they put a deposit on it and close. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was told that this weekend. The, yeah. And accurate. Fuck You're right. That's an accurate joke. <laughs> that's, an accurate joke. But that's, but that's why jokes are good. The yeah. crayon eater thing, it just... It's not, it's not even a good joke. No, but this wasn't a good... It's a banana joke. I, I know. I'm not, <laughs> shitting on, I'm not shitting on your joke. I'm not shitting on your he joke. He's absolutely shitting on your joke. I know, he was. Um, I was mad. At it. I, I I paused. Wait honestly, for a fact. Honestly, I, didn't, you. I didn't hear it. I'm you like, didn't. Yeah. That's what I was like. You were in your own world. Broke. I was. And I was, we were I, all directing I, it. I, I zoned out. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Let's wrap this bitch up. Okay. It's time. Damn, boy. I'm not mastering shit except the bait. You're you mad. look responsible. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you mastered shit, why don't you open your mouth and babysit some of my kids? <laughs> <laughs> Yeek. I found out something wildly interesting about semen <laughs> that I did not know about. Like Navy people? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Like cum. Like cum. Okay. Like big cums. Uh, of all ears. Did you know? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't. After we bust into a lady, do you know where the rest of it goes? Down her butt crack? Typically on my sheets. Nope. Just kind of gets fucking absorbed into their body cavity, which yeah. means every woman that we've ever came in is part man is part us in some form or fashion. It wow. just gets lost in the fucking abdominal cavity. It just keeps swimming. So they're all a bunch of dories. Just keep swimming. Nope. Just keep swimming. Because I'm hung like a baby bell cheese. That never got <laughs> near the abdominal cavity. <laughs> like apparently, so it goes up the fallopian tubes, as we all know from fucking, you know. How much does one load weigh? Well, it's, it'd like, be fluid an ounces. Ounce. But you can convert that to physical weight. Okay. You're okay. Like I want to know, know how many times it needs to happen before she... Let's fuck up Justin's Google. I want to know how many times... Could you this... please Google search? I think this is a perfect it, bro science no, estimate. No, 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 no. I think we can handle this, <laughs> boy. We, could we please find out what the average male ejaculate is in fluid ounces? It's, it's Yeah. If I had to guess one-ish. Let's see. I'm going to go... Uh, 0. 0.75. So you're at one? Yeah. You're at 0. 0.75. 0. 0.75. John? I don't know. I'm going to go I'm I'm going to double down. I'm going to go 1.6 fluid ounces. I'm, I'm yeah. one or less is what I would I'm, I'm going to go 1.6 fluid ounces. I think it's like a shot of Cuervo. Cuz I'm looking I'm looking at a 12 ounce <laughs> can just enough to make you go Ugh. and that's, that's that's way more than 12 shots. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a half ounce. Well, a shot's a shot in an ounce and a half. True. No, no. Well, I'm saying shot. In actual, like, I'm yeah. saying actual but shot. But a bar shot. A I'm bar not talking shot about is, that. Shot. Bar shots an ounce and a half. I'm gonna go. Ooh, if an actual shot. Ooh. Yeah. That a boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that's throwing ropes, dog. It, it depends I'm on how long in between. 
I just want to know how many times. Here we go. 0. 0.76 milliliter. Oh, shit. 0. 0.03. Is one. Oh. The World Health Organization says that the normal sea volume is one to s- <laughs> Jesus Christ. One to seven milliliters. So 7.6 milliliters. That's a bad boy. Uh, that's oh, a lot. Okay, never mind. That's- milliliters is not a lot. 0.03 to 0.17 ounces. That's like a fucking. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta pump those numbers up. Those are rosy yeah, numbers. No. <laughs> How many times would it take you to fill a twelve Hold ounce on, let me can? See that, right. Well, let me so see so my, the thought process that I was going to this is: how many times do I have to do this before she's one percent semen? Because if she weighs, say she, yeah, she weighs one hundred and fifteen pounds. Okay, that's one point so one five pounds. Let's take the median. All right, so yeah. one to seven point six milliliters. Let's take the median. You're at four milliliters. This energy drink that you have is 473 milliliters. Which is 20 ounces, right? Which so, means, so you need 100 times. Which means that I come 10% the volume of this can. 1%. No, 1%. 1%. percent take you 100 comes. To that's, fill a, the can. that's 100 comes. Can you he drinks it? <laughs> I need 12 hours. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I need 12 hours. <laughs> In other words... <laughs> After so after twelve comes at the end of it you're point oh three yeah <laughs> it tasted different this time it's, weird. it's a mindset hold on, scroll down. <laughs> they have a mean volume of ejaculate scroll down oh this for diabetic men oh. <laughs> wait 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 so you come There's more they, hold on they, oh they, on the contrary prostate massage can increase a man's ejaculate volume. Mm. Obese so men are 1.28 to 1.63 milliliters. Oh, no. 1.63 milliliters in normal weight men. Huh. But that's saying semen. Is that full ejaculate? I don't know. Non-smokers come more. Men who are obese <laughs> tend to have lower semen volume. There's no scientific evidence linking masturbation frequency with significantly lower or higher ejaculate yeah, volume. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> do you, let, do, do, tell me that same sentence after the fourth time you jerked off. Yeah, right? That's, that's, <laughs> a, that's a bold-faced lie. Obviously, your wife yeah. has never gone out of town. What is that? <laughs> yeah, right? What is this? <laughs> fucking weak. This is Wikipedia. This is bullshit. <laughs> Jerking off has never led to lowered... What the fuck ever? When we were all younger and still dating, you didn't get rid of the wild one right beforehand? You got to unload the gun. <laughs> you got to unload the Fine, gun. Yeah, like she's on her way over. Okay. Yeah, dude. Because uh, otherwise it's going to be gun. wildly mediocre. Yeah. No, you can't release an album without putting out a single first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you unload show clear. Yeah. yeah. Every time. A little bit different in your 40s. <laughs> a little different. Yeah, we got one to three business days in between. <laughs> when you're in your 40s, it's just gratitude at that point. It's just a like, oh, I think I can go. Hey, nah, maybe tomorrow. Hey. Dude, that's what your that's why your 20s and 30s are designed to get good at foreplay. For, for your Do you 40s. want to know the biggest difference between when you're in your 20s and you're fucking when you're 40s and you're fucking? Yeah, it's about pain. 40 pounds. When you're in your 20s and fucking, it's all the, like we're gonna give each other massages. This is gonna be great. And it's like yeah, I'm willing to fuck, but could you hit me with a Theragun on my left shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> and then but she's like, no. One is intimate. The other one is physical therapy. She's like, no, like, there's a- no that's your reward. Yeah. It's afterwards. Because, <laughs> you know, if she hits you with the Theragun first, yeah. you're passing the Taking fuck a out. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> My wife hit me with one last night. I was laying on the foot of the bed. I could have slept right there. I was like, damn, was it as good for me as it was for you? <laughs> like that. Jesus. Anyways, uh, our cum just keeps going. Yeah. I had no idea. I learned this. Well, uh, hey, this is a great master debate episode. <laughs> we learned a little something. something. Well, you know, we answered the, right out the gate. We were all on the same page. If we're going to master something, it's going to be bait. First yeah. off, if I've got a master bait and I'm a kung fu master. Oh, Jesus. I th- instead of a What you don't punch, know it's a is that if I got cum. that skill, everybody in this room has already come. Six times. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. I appreciate you. I didn't even know. That's just a good buddy. <laughs> at that point, at that point, it's you know, just like, you, know what you look de- tense. Brr, oh, you know, shit. You know the definition? <laughs> Feel better? Of, I do. You know, <laughs> you know the definition of a best friend? Hmm. Somebody go downtown, get two blowjobs, come back and give you one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jess. You go downtown way more than I do, big guy. I don't know if that's true. 
<laughs> I avoid that place like the plague. No, I, no, I don't work down there. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've gone there. down there since I don't work down there anymore. I think maybe five times I've been down there since I don't work down there. Sounds like you. So who'd you get? Got some fucking debt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there it was. <laughs> <laughs> all right, like, share, subscribe, everybody. Smash those buttons, all those things. Uh, I'm gonna raise my glass. I'm gonna say thanks for being my freedom friends, there, boys. So whether you're good at baiting or good at fucking kung fu, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're all here for it. Go out and find something to master, right? And while you're at it, tell your mom, tell your friends, tell your fucking mom's friends. It takes ten thousand hours to be a master of something. You damn right. And so only, get to sucking. Yeah. <laughs> and only about a hundred comes to make her one percent, boys. So get to work. <laughs> With that stat, John, I am a masturbator. <laughs> Can confirm. Same dog. Same. Uh, yeah, pretty easy. Not hard to do. Three little things. You live your life by them every single day, John. Smoke on. Jazz. Drink on. God damn it, kids. Freedom Freedom the the fuck fuck on. on. Later, you masturbators.